Hey, this is Travis. Ob I mean, obviously. I, um, I haven't had time to cut up. God damn it. This is the unintended consequences of deathmatch wrestling. It makes you look like you have fucking bangs. They don't tell you when you first start that when you get hit with light tubes, you get a gusset plate stuck in your head that'll cut off any of the hair that gets caught between, you know, your skin and the, the tubes. But... Um, I, the AC in my truck's broken, so, like, it's, I look like fucking Doc Brown more often than not. Anyway, so, I haven't had time this week to cut a promo for, um, my match with Josh Crane. I haven't had time to think about how Josh Crane is a, um, international, uh, deathmatch wrestler that's wrestled some of the best in the business, or that he... Uh, won the Carnage Cup that I was in, or that he trained with uh, Mr. Danger himself, and his positive mental attitude thing will most definitely override my I don't deserve to live kind of attitude, and um, there's a good chance that I'll lose my championship to him. And I haven't had time to think about much of that, because my uncle, uh, who I've known, obviously, you know, since I've been alive has been in um, physical therapy. Uh, he went to the hospital for pneumonia and then went straight to physical therapy because he couldn't walk, which he had done for the previous 71 years of his life, except for when he was in that coma. And um, I've been having to go back and forth and get things, you know, ready for him to get out of the hospital. And I haven't had time to think about how big of a deal this is or how big of a challenge Josh Green's gonna be or anything like that. See, when I was 10 years old, I got a Best of Big Japan tape that I ordered through the mail because I'm old. And um, Mr. Danger was on it. The Scorpion Deathmatch. I think it's called the Desert Deathmatch, actually. But I was watching this tape, and I wanted to make a barbed wire bat like I saw in... Uh, Big Japan and FMW and ACW and my uncle for some reason when I was 10 years old bought me my first roll of barbed wire and helped me make my first ever barbed wire baseball bat which I still have and he means the entire world to me and so does the bat and I've, all I've wanted to do was for him to get out of the hospital so I could show him that I'm the champion now and he could be proud of me. Are you proud of me? Yes. Well, yes. Okay, he says that. But, um, I'm afraid I'm going to lose Saturday. But I'm going to try as hard as I possibly can. And I know Sean's going to try as hard as he possibly can to beat Josh Crane and his positive mental attitude, his clear minded violence. And, um,. Retain the total psychopathic wrestling championship. Um, not only for myself, but for Bo. Are you glad to be out of the hospital, Bo? Yes. yes. And I won't go to the fans. Yeah, he, uh, he liked it in there as much as he says he's glad. I'm sure he is glad, but I mean, you know, free snacks whenever you want and like people cooking for you and stuff. How could you not enjoy that? Um, I guess being forced to work out would be a negative. Well, I mean, you know, obviously I'm not a uh, gym rat or anything. I've always heard that rats were bad anyway. So, um, Sean, for God's sake, I'm in the middle of a promo. Why? Why? Anyway, so... Sean told me that I would be getting heat from the office if I didn't cut a promo. And Sean, if anybody knows heat, it's fucking Sean. So, here's my promo. And I'm at the end of my fucking rope, it seems like. And I'm going to have to put all my eggs in the being a champion basket on Saturday. And do whatever I can, whatever it takes to keep it. Because it's the only thing keeping me saying at the moment with all the stuff going on please ignore my hair these are not bangs thank you
starting now. I'm not going to paper is kind of makes me up to me. Please be seated and open your prayer guides to the book of Revelations, Psalm 69. Your call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Hold while I connect you to the caller. Beep. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he really hung up. Evidence. Some of the murdered little girl's toys still inside. Also inside, a photo album full of pictures authorities say are disturbing. And even more disturbing are cuts on some of the suspect's arms. Take a look at Natasha Cornette's arm. We're told the slash marks you see were self-inflicted and not likely a suicide attempt. 